Hi, I'm Smoking Elk, and today we are making chicken shawarma nachos. So one of my most popular videos and one of the recipes that gets followed the most and I get tagged in the most is my chicken shawarma. I'm going to do chicken shawarma again. This time I'm going to be cooking it on the Kamado Joe, on the Joe Tisserie. But I'm going to take the chicken shawarma and we're going to create the ultimate fusion food. We're going to make chicken shawarma nachos. So the shawarma is going to spin over the fire and then we're going to put that over some nachos with cheese, jalapeno, sour cream, some homemade chilli sauce. It's going to be great. So first thing we want to do is get our chicken marinated. So I've got around two kilos of boneless skinless chicken thighs here. For the marinade, we're going to go in with about 120 ml of olive oil. Now it might seem like quite a lot, but a lot of it gets left behind in the marinade, but this is just to give it the consistency that we want to be able to get it all over that chicken. So around about 100 to 120 ml of olive oil. And into that, we've got some spices. We've got paprika. Going to go in with about a tablespoon or so of paprika. Same again with cumin. We're going to go in with about a tablespoon or so of cumin. That should do us. Turmeric. We want a teaspoon of turmeric. And chilli flakes. I'm using some fairly mild chilli flakes. Just do it to your taste, really. Uh, I'm going in with a teaspoon of fairly mild chilli flakes, but they're going to give it a tiny bit of kick. But obviously, we've got the chilli sauce later on, and we can put some chilies on there if you want some extra kick. All spice about half a teaspoon of allspice. And we've got some cinnamon. Gonna go in with about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Don't have to be too heavy with this. Two teaspoons of crap black pepper. Two teaspoons of salt. And then we want the juice and the zest of two lemons. Me being super unprepared today, I have got two lemons here, so I'm going in with this lemon juice. But if you've got lemons, obviously zest them. Use unwaxed, zest them, and juice them into here. So I'm going to go in with a good two or three tablespoons of this lemon juice. And two tablespoons of tomato puree. One, two. And lastly, we've got some garlic. So I've got five cloves of garlic here. Remember, it's going in the blender, so just chuck them in. All we're going to do with that is blend that up. And that is it. How quick and easy is that marinade? Now we're just going to take this and we're just going to get that all over these chicken thighs. So just pour it on. Your hands are the best tools for the job. This is a messy one. So just get your hands in and just make sure that marinade coats every bit of that chicken. Now you can leave this to marinade overnight, 24 hours, two hours, whatever. I tend not to. I tend to just get this on, get it straight over the fire. And to be honest, it doesn't make much difference in the end result at all. So there's your chicken thighs. Now I'm just going to get my hands cleaned up and then we're going to thread it onto the rotisserie. When I thread it onto the rotisserie, what I try and do for the first ones is just make sure that the chicken thighs just sit over the spikes like that, then alternate it all the way and then obviously just go up the rest of the rod and then put your forks in the other end. So I'm going to get my hands cleaned up, I'm going to bring the rotisserie rod over, we'll get it loaded on to the spit and then I'm going to cook it over some cherry wood. So we've got a fire lit in there, got a touch of cherry in there for some smoke. Charcoal is banked to the back of the Kamado Joe and we're going to be cooking this at around about 190 to 200 degrees Celsius. So let's crack on.
there was nachos, you normally have a salsa. We're not doing proper nachos now, are we? We're doing a shawarma nacho. So I'm gonna go somewhere between a salsa and a chili sauce. I'm gonna talk you through how I'll make that. So we've got an onion that I'm just gonna dice and sweat down for six or seven minutes till it's nice and soft. I'm gonna add some garlic, some chilies, some tomato puree. We've got a tin of tomatoes, a bit of apple cider vinegar, and we've got some salt and a bit of sugar just to balance it all out. So that's all gonna go in the pan in here. So let's crack on. I mean, shawarma, it always looks absolutely glorious when it comes out. This is a proper crowd pleaser. And I'm hoping when we pimp it up with the nachos, it's gonna be even more of a crowd pleaser. I mean, all these little bits here, all these charred bits here, don't be fooled, they're not burnt. They are pure flavor nuggets, like I always say. So I've just taken some nachos, popped a bit of cheese on, and the chili sauce that you see we made earlier, just popped it in there just to start that cheese melting. But we're gonna build some layers and layers and layers with the nachos, the cheese, the chili sauce, the shawarma, got some pickled jalapenos and I've also got some pickled red jalapenos with pineapple and some sour cream so we're just going to chuck it on but first off we just want to have a little slice in and just look at the, the delights the fruits of our labour beautiful juicy chicken I mean that is juicy as anything it's moist as anything that's a good thing about cooking it in the Kamado Joe Ch with chicken it doesn't half retain the moisture and we've got these knobbly bits as well so Let's just carry on carving this. Then like I said, we're gonna build some layers and layers and layers with all the goodies we've got here and pop it back in there. So um, let's build our nachos. talk about crowd pleasers at a barbecue, shawarma is always a crowd pleaser at a barbecue, but look at this. I mean, if you ordered loaded, loaded nachos in a restaurant and this turned up, you would be ecstatic. I mean, look at it, over the top, yes, but I'm pretty happy with that creation, so do give it a go. My shawarma recipe is an absolute winner, so even if you're not gonna put it on some nachos, give this a go. I've put it on some nachos. I'm gonna have a taste now and see exactly how it is. Now, that works. That's an absolute winner. Got some nacho, cheese, some of the chilli sauce, the shawarma, a bit of sour cream and a jalapeno on there in one bite. That is a flavour explosion. On the Smoking Elk, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.